Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're looking at a tree farm. Now, um, within Crash Landing, uh, making a tree farm early on by hand is pretty challenging because of the resources required. Um, you can get far enough to get a machine framed for a harvester, but as far as automatically planting the sapling, therein lies the challenge of completely automating it. I've come up with a way to automate planting the sapling using Steve's factory manager and if you don't want any spoilers from there take off now just stop and you know there you go there's your start um, for those of you that are interested in what the blocks are um, we're gonna be using the uh, gate block or the block gate and here let's see here oh. So we're going to be using the block detector and the block gate. So if you're just interested in the blocks and you want to figure out how to use it on your own, you know, there you go. The rest of this is just going to be spoilers. So um, if you're having a hard time setting this up, let's get cracking. Crack cracking. So figure out where you want to place your saplings. Um, you're going to want a piece of dirt. Um, for then you're going to want to place your harvester. Figure out when you want to place your harvester first. Because when you place your block gate, the opposite block um, on the other side of the dirt needs to be an air block. Otherwise, um, this doesn't work. So what the block gate does is it takes an item that you send to it and it right clicks kind of in that direction. If there's a block there, it's as if you're right clicking on the block. Um, but if there's nothing there, it ends up planting the sapling. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is place a block detector. Now we're using the block detector to detect whether or not a sapling is, is there. So we're looking, we're going to look for an air block. Um, the reason for that is um, if you loop, um, if you do a one second trigger, um, it's just going to keep spitting saplings out and you, you don't want to do that. So what you're going to look for is on this block detector detecting an air block, we want you to right click with the sapling. And the rest of this is just setting it up. So we're going to take inventory cable under here. Um, chest right here. Now this is going to put all the logs and saplings in uh, this chest and then I stick the factory manager on this side keeping this all one high that way um, I had stuff too high and I tried bone mealing it and took forever to bone meal um, the things and then obviously you need uh, power so either run cable or we're just gonna throw a leadstone energy cell here uh, for power so we got power filling up and then uh, we're going to throw saplings in here. And now we're going to write our code. So first thing we want is we want a trigger. And we want to set the connection to block update detector. Now you get all this stuff. Now um, you want to specify which detector. And then you're going to want to specify which direction. So we're going to look north. So if you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see which direction you're facing so we want the north face of that detector and um, so let's go ahead and go in there we're gonna leave it on a one second interval you can put it higher if you like um, we are going to require the north face um, and then we're gonna use block ID 0 which is an air block and then we have our connection set so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an input and we are going from the chest that we specified and I usually target the upside of a chest it seems to work really well uh, we are going to um, target an oak sapling and here's important specify one so it only tries to use one instead of the whole stack at a time Okay, and then we need to specify an output. And this output is going to be the block gate. Um, 
I believe it's facing east. So here's the block facing east. Okay. Uh, east, activating the east side. And then we are going to whitelist oak saplings. Now this prevents, if you use this for anything else like moving stuff around, this prevents those items from um, interacting with those other things. For this, it's you can leave it blank, but out of habit. Now here you have an on high pulse, on high signal, so while true, while it first detects true um, on a block update, so when that block receives a block update. And so if the block receives a block update, it's gonna check the side and verify, it's gonna check the side that you specified, and then it's gonna make sure that this is on that side. So whenever there's a block update. So what we want is while true, see there you go and it plowed into sapling. So then when we bone meal it, it's already got a it's already got a new one down. And that's it. And then you can just leave this going. So some other options you can do is um, instead of leaves you can have it do, uh, or instead of saplings, you can have it do leaves. You can run the leaves through um, the liquid transposer and then output the lead, or output the saplings into a chest on this network and then that would work too. And then you could also set up a furnace for making coal to power the whole system. So there's a lot of other options you can do, but there's using a block gate and a block detector to get yourself a tree farm. Hey guys, I hope this helps. There's the overhead view. <laughs> hope this helps. Um, I'm going to have this in my Let's Play as soon as I get things going. Um, I've got like 13 episodes ready to go up right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Let me know if you thought it was good. All right, guys. Take care and have a good one.